Hi Sophie, how are you? Hello guys, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good. Very good. Yeah, very good. You. We actually know each other very well, don't we, Sophie? We do. So I have been chatting to James and Ola a few years now, even in the oh, pandemic, yeah. when oh, when your little girl Ella, who's now three, um, when she was quite young, I think even before her first birthday. Yeah, that's it right. Was it? We started when, and I was really little, I think, doing the column. And yeah. it was a nice thing, always talking to you every week. It was like um, um, therapy you know, for therapy us, wasn't class. it? Yeah, really yeah. good. Well, because you've got kids yourself and everything we were talking about, you're like, yeah, I've been through that. I've done yeah. that. And we used to have chats after the column and you used to give us bits of advice, even still are today, right? Even still giving us some advice. Yeah. You know everything about us and we can spill a bit more of the information out there. And you get my stupid humour as well. Ah! <laughs> well, what can I say, James? Um, me and me and you, Arlo, we're a bit of a team, aren't we? We're sticking together. For those of you who don't know James and Ola, they were amazing dancers on Strictly Come Dancing some years ago. And... Black and white. No, long, long time ago. <laughs> yeah, and you are still professional dancers, and you've got your dance workout program, Dance Shred, which is going really well. We're going to chat to you today about your little girl Ella, who's not been very well recently. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about how it all started with Ella not being very well um, and how she's doing now? It kind of started probably when she was about two, right? We noticed um, that she was getting very poorly um, around winter time, like lots of kids do, but she was yeah. getting particularly poorly. Um, and she was always going to the doctors, taking her to A&E. Um, and then one day we were at our GPs, and she was listening to her heart and she went, oh, I can hear a heart murmur. Lots of children have heart murmurs. I think there's a really high percentage and it's not always something to, to worry about. But she said, look, we're going to send you for a second opinion. We went to the hospital and they had a listen um, and then did an ultrasound. And that's when they discovered that Ella has um, a little hole in the heart. And ever since then, really, um, She's been quite poorly around the the winter times and recently she's been very poorly, you know. I think that's a, something that a lot of parents can can relate to. I mean, I certainly had that. I've got two children. My son's 13, my daughter's 10. And um, my son was very sickly when he was well, under five. Every winter, like Ella, we'd get the cough, the continuous cough. And it's just, it is really stressful because you can't always get to the bottom of it. Yeah, he, had to have an, he had to have an operation. I would really worry. Sometimes I, I didn't want to go out and leave him at night. And it's funny you say that, that lots of parents go through it. Um, I was getting her antibiotics yesterday in the hospital and there was another young lady there with her daughter who was one. And I was speaking to her while we were waiting for um, the medication to come through. And she was saying, oh my God, it's so stressful. And my husband's at work. And and I was actually thinking, you know, we were both there together, going through it together. Oh, my God. We're so lucky that we are able to do that. Yeah. I was thinking that exactly the same thing. What but, if I was there on my own? My husband was away or my husband was working or I didn't Which have is husband. normal, right? That's, you that's, know? that's yeah. normal Single for most parents. people. You know, when you went through that with your son, your husband wasn't always there with you going through that. And it's tough, man. It is tough. I mean, yeah, he, he was there for most of it, but then obviously we had my daughter and he's going to look after her. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't know if you found this. You've said, you said that you found watching Ella have her blood taken very upsetting and traumatic. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I've been through things like that with the children. Um, a couple of times he actually stopped breathing. It was horrendous. Yeah. yeah. And I think... I just wonder if maybe there should be or could be a bit more support for parents, a bit, a bit of counselling offered, because I think we do, it is hard to then carry on when you've seen slightly traumatic things. Then you look at the NHS at the moment, how it's struggling so much, then yeah. the time it would take for that as well. I, know. I just think that, um, you know, in, in life, you go through a lot of tough things, right? And it's horrible what we're going through at the moment. But I just think you have to 
we are, we just yeah, just suck, suck it up, up and, you, you and get on with it. Yeah. Putting it on Instagram was amazing, just putting it out there because people come back with so many ideas. They do. My granddaughter went through this, my child done this, you know, so many people. Because often people say, right, and this is the truth as well, people sometimes, the odd person, 1%, why do you put things like that on your Instagram? The amount of people that come back with brilliant bits of advice, little nuggets yes. that I nurses, nurses or, doctors or try this, go to this person, do this. My son had the same thing. This happened. I did this. Speaking to people like you, those, those yeah. sort. That's when Instagram, social media, is it's a beautiful brilliant. thing because it can be a horrible, dark place, right? But for yeah. things like that, that's helped us a yes. lot. And that's we, why we, we put things it. out there. Yeah. Because Yeah, and like that's that. lovely that your followers share yeah. those helpful yeah. tips yeah. with you. Um, I totally agree. Like, we all need to talk about it more. Yeah. And do you find that it's just really hard to relax when it's on your mind? Yeah, yeah. because and you don't, you know, you can't, yeah, you, you just don't know the, when she's going to get the temperature. Is she going to yeah. wake up with the temperature? What, what, what are we going to do then? Are we ring in the yeah. doctor again and what? You know, and you feel like you have no life as well. We haven't worked properly for like really, we are working, but we're, we're not doing what we should be because yeah. she's been so ill. We're not seeing friends, we're not going out, we're not doing things with Ella. It's been, I'm not, we're not going for sympathy because we know loads of people go through it, but it yeah. has been a really tough time for us. It's just been non stop. Um, and yeah, I think we all need a bit tired. of a break, and yeah. we all um, need a nice weather, waiting for the sun that's to come what, out. Yeah, that's what we've been told. Once the heat comes in and it gets rid of all the germs and everything, she, yeah. she like during the summer, she's actually like full on go go go, isn't yeah, she? And kind of girl. She, she loves her swimming. Um, in the summer, um, she's been swimming a lot. She got so good. Uh, we went away in October again. Yeah. Um, and she was so good swimming. We came back and she got ill. And she hasn't we, been for three we months. We haven't been swimming and she loved to just go. She always says, when can I go swimming? When my ears are better, Daddy, can we go swimming? Because she keeps suffering with ear infections as well. Because we spoke to the doctor about it and we said, look, we want her still to live a normal life. Hmm. Um, not saying that she's not living a normal life, but like going to nursery, seeing her friends, playing outside, doing all the things, going to gymnastics that she hasn't been doing because she's been so poorly. And she said, if she hasn't got a temperature, send send her in. Do you know what I mean? Like, let her go and do normal stuff. So she's on this really strong antibiotic now. Um, woke up this morning and she didn't have a temperature. So we were like, you know what? We're just going to send her in and I was the one that took her in and it was awful but seeing her like that and like screaming daddy when I left her go into the car yeah it, it pulls on the heartstrings and I know you have to be tough and go well it's good for her and she needs it I get that but it's still hard to let your little daughter see her so upset and today it really hit me. I was driving back and a little tear run down my face and I was like, man up. <laughs> can you say that anymore? Can you, you say that? No, 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 no. It's fine to have a little tear. Yeah. So yeah, I, um, I know my emotions are high because like I said, I, I'm not really a crier. Um, last time I cried was when I lost my dad. Um, and today I was quite emotional. I think yesterday was a big day for us, wasn't yeah, it? It was, it was quite a it hard was a day. It was a very nice day yesterday. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I think you've been through a lot and you're really tired today, aren't you? So yes. it's, yeah. it's to be expected. And you'd got to such a good place with her before with nursery where she'd had that separation anxiety, hadn't she? And now, and then she had started really enjoying it and then yeah. you didn't have the tears. Yeah. So it must be quite frustrating for you. To we be... did. It yeah. feels like we've gone backwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Like a, a lot. Um, because I mean, the, yeah, when I dropped her off this morning, it was, it was horrendous. I mean, she was crying the whole way there. Daddy, I don't want to go to nursery. She's a clever, clever little girl. I have to say this because on the way there, she's saying things like, oh, daddy, my, my ears really hurt in my right ear. Now I know her right ear is not good at the moment. Because she had that big infection. Um, so she's saying, oh, daddy, we need to go to the doctors. Can we go to the doctors now? She was trying everything not to go to nursery 
Um, so it's fun. It's it's fun. It's hard to find. Like, is she just upset yeah. because she's going in, or is she upset because she's feeling poorly? And I I made that decision today. I said no. I think she's just upset for going in. And she got. Yeah. Well, you'll see when you pick her up. See how yeah, if she's having exactly. a good time. And they're very yeah. honest with us as well. They're so yeah. good at her nursery. I yeah. would just say to them, how was she today? And they say, she was 20 minutes, she was crying. After that, she's absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, and she is such a gorgeous little girl. You must be so proud of her. She's so full of beans. And I just love watching her. And you do your TikToks with her. And she's got such a good character. And she joins in all your dances. I mean, what kind of a response do you get from people your fans about Ella she's on form when she's not ill I mean she's amazing yeah. she I tell you what she really loves is um um microphone we got her microphone yeah a karaoke one and she puts the songs on and she sings through the microphone and now she started to say you know hello my name is Ella Jordan this is my show she starts presenting her she's own like show presenting her own show because she's seen us she's seen us in front of camera she's seen us yeah She's much more relaxed or from yeah. than I am. The amount of people, obviously, it's very nice. And people obviously send very nice messages saying, oh, yeah. you're going to be a superstar and things like that. But when you get it from celebrities as well, like Michael Vaughan, of all people, messaged me the other day. And I love Michael. He went, she is going to be a superstar. <laughs> and things like that. Just, she's a, and she's our baby. baby. And, and I go, so oh, yes, yes, I know. Yes, she's yes, she is. Is. <laughs> <laughs> like that. You know, we like the parents on the yeah. sideline. But she yeah. is quite cool. You know, she, um, other things she's really good at, she um, sings songs and she remembers all the words so well, like grown up songs. Um, she, she does was, not get that from she us. She sing the whole song. She knows the, the words. words. Yeah, it's really strange. Can you two hold a tune? No. This no. One? We no. once did, uh, for BBC, we did, um, was it? Uh, Brent, is it? Was it Children's Relief? It, it was either Sports or... Relief or Children's Relief or something. Relief. And we sang live um, on... Megan Trainor. All <laughs> about all about the bass. Oh, yeah, all about the It's all about the bass. Bass by the, the bass. bass. No, and how did that go? Um, well, well we, we came second on the night because yeah, so because because we it. were so bad. But people it. We we are tone deaf, both of us. I was uh, better. I was yeah, you, you're better than me, but we were still bad. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, we need to talk a bit about Ella's heart condition, which you've yes. been looking into a bit. Um, what's the latest with that, and how are um, you doing? It's still ongoing investigation. We are having an appointment uh, with the doctor soon. Someone, a doctor um, from Evelina Hospital is coming down to Kent and we're going to see them. So we've got an appointment. That's on the 29th, um, isn't it? Yeah, to see, you know, if, if it's closed off, how is it looking? If she needs um, an operation. Yeah, so um, we, I guess we're going to find out on an appointment then. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, things. for any, for anyone that doesn't know what it is, I think the easiest way to explain it is when Ella was born, the baby is connected to mummy, and that connection comes away, and normally the the hole would close up. Close up, and he didn't close up. Hers didn't, so I think they're going to check to see if it's closed up. Um, okay. If it if it hasn't, it's uh, a very similar operation to having a stent where they go through the heart, and they would normally put a stent in where they would put a coil in and it closed, it basically plugs it. I and think. the reason they do that, I think, they said that maybe she doesn't have any troubles with her heart now, but when she's older, in her 30s or 40s, she might have troubles with her heart. Yeah. Uh, right. so that's why they put the things in to close it off. But we've been waiting because when they found it when she was two, they said if she had the operation, they wouldn't be able to do it until she was like late. Uh, three and a half, four years old anyway. Oh, okay. So, you'd be so that's why we... So that's why he was... Again, as a parent, you're still stressing about that as well, aren't you? You you know, you've got to wait all that time not really knowing whether she's going to have that operation or not. So we're going to potentially find out on the 29th of February, which is two days after her fourth birthday, the situation. So it's quite a big day, really, for us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's so much happening for you guys at the moment, isn't there? there a, lot, is. a lot on your mind. There is. Yeah. So she's obviously a little star in the making. I want to know what you two were like at age three. 
Were you like Ella? Were you, were you very confident? <clears throat> I've got to say, I used to sing a lot when I was little. And okay. I, re I remember my mum saying that we went to a wedding once and I told everyone to shush because I was in the middle of the floor and I was singing for everyone, believe it or not. Really? So I was obviously more confident when I was younger than I am now because I would never do that now. And I was the opposite. Up until apparently I was about 15, 16, I was the quietest, shyest. He was apparently the sweetest little boy ever. Can you believe ever. it? No. Believe I it. swear to God, honestly, yeah. I was so shy. I used to go red all the time with embarrassment. I wouldn't say boo to a goose. Oh my God, I was, really? yeah, I was literally the opposite to Ella. Yeah. His mom said he was the, the sweetest yeah. little boy. Very, oh, very I shy remember. child. I don't child know where they shy. went wrong. Well, I think on another show, we need to delve a bit deeper into your relationship and how you work together so well, because it's... Don't dig too deep, Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty impressive. <laughs> no, we do. We, we do work well uh, with each other, don't we? I mean, yeah, yeah 24 years, and uh, she's looking forward to the next 24. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> Oh, well, thanks, guys. It's been so great chatting to you today. You and we're wishing the best for Ella and hope she feels better soon. Thank, and thank you so much. And we'll all see right. you all soon. Bye. Bye.